Guys, first of all, a big, big uh, congratulations for uh, Campus Diaries. I mean, uh, you hear the name and, uh, you know, you get very excited because, of course, it's going to be about, uh, you know, people are going to remember their college days, which is the best part of someone's life. Uh, so I'll start with uh, each of you. I'll, I'll start with uh, Srishti. Uh, anything which you want to say, uh, you know, uh, how did this, uh, uh, you know, project happen to you? And uh, I mean, was it like a long audition process or it was an instant yes, anything which you want to say? Um, yeah, so we were in a lockdown when this um, audition came to me. This okay. came to me and uh, at that point, I just wanted to get some work because uh, I was done sitting at home and not working. Mm -hmm. So I was auditioning for everything that came my way. So I was not really paying attention to what I was auditioning for. I was just um, recording myself constantly. Um, after I gave the audition, I didn't expect much. I thought maybe, you know, this is not going to happen just like the other... Um, auditions that I've given and I've not worked out but and I did believe it because until three months after mm -hmm. I did not get any call so okay. I decided to chop my hair off because I was tired of my long hair and then after three months I get a call that listen um, mm -hmm. you've been finalized and I said oh no I've cut my hair what do I do now so but uh, funnily uh, this haircut actually I feel worked better for my character than my long mm -hmm. hair I feel like um, it just made me feel more like Sanya. Uh, okay. So yeah. Um, and after that is when I really tried and uh, I spoke to the director. He told me about the show and what they're going to be, you know, tapping at. And uh, yeah, I was, I just felt very, very lucky that this is the show that I got selected for and mm. not anything else. And that I was available to do this because um, one, it's a college show. Uh, I've never been to college, so it would be an experience for me to do something I've not experienced in my life. And it was, it was mm -hmm. um, my college experience actually. Right. We went to college, and um, it, this show made me want to go back to college. So I feel like I'm going to go back very soon. Great, great. So, uh, you know, my next question is to you. Uh, there have been a lot of, you know, uh, series which is uh, based in this, you know, the, uh, in the college campus. It's a story about youngsters. Uh, you know, what does campus uh, uh, diaries, you know, replicate? I mean, wo kaun sa pehlu milega, or what the story will be? What can we expect from the series? <coughs> um, I think the one thing that you can expect is to see some very... Um, some very human uh, relationships, some very uh, human moments. And when I say human, I mean, it's a, I, I don't want to use the word real because I think it's a very mm. over, over abused word these days. Real, real kuch nahi hota. But like uh, in general, it's a very um, organic and simple approach to showing a college show is what uh, mm -hmm. showing a college show is to sort of, because mm. you know, otherwise it is, um, and I've done one before. So I, I have, Mm. certain idea as to how visually people usually are comfortable with showing college life um, mm. in that sense this is relatively very very raw and I think that's the one thing that people can expect uh, that it is it is very upfront uh, we're not really shying away from saying what we want to say um, mm. at times it might be uh, that's the thing when you're showing something that's so that's so raw is that it's you're walking a very thin line, you know, because you have to be very, very sensitive about the things that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, so apart from all the funs and you know, all the fun and jokes that we do have in the show, because it is, I'll be honest, it is, according to me, it's also a very funny show. There's okay. some really funny shit. It's, it's mm -hmm. ridiculous how much I've laughed. Um, <laughs> okay. uh, not that uh, my sense of humor is like, oh, I laugh at anything. Uh, mm -hmm. but it's very funny dude uh, but at the same time it's also extremely emotional and it is uh, uh, it is talking about things that otherwise you wouldn't really talk about it because you know uh, you got to be very very careful and I think Abhishek Yadav and Prem Mistri they've who are the creators of our show have done a beautiful job in sort of uh, bringing that to our 
to the audience's attention you know that this is going to be a very very um, real sorry i'm saying real a very raw mm. approach to college mm. yeah. okay cool and saloni how much have you enjoyed like abinam just shared that he has loved a lot you know while you know maybe filming the uh, the whole series how much have you enjoyed especially because we have srishti and abinam so how much have you enjoyed shooting with both these people oh my god i i had no option i had to shoot with these two people <laughs> they were forced on to me and pushed on to me and i did not have a choice and i had to speak all yeah. my Con- contractually obliged i have contract uh, <laughs> spend my time to them and also because most of my scenes not most of my scenes but a lot of my scenes were the, with the two of them and these two yeah <laughs> can be a lot of fun but it can be very very annoying also let me be very okay. honest in each other's legs i don't know why and how they are behaving so somber here in your interview kennedy i think <laughs> um i think uh, okay so keeping all of that apart from whatever i said i think i have made a life on the show um i think these two are whether they like it or not always going to be somebody i am going to call for birthdays or meet often and spend all my time with and i think that says it all and not just these two the other mm. three also who are not right now here i think we have really grown up and lived college together mm. and that bond is something else right your college mm. bond is something else and we form that bond so right. yeah it's it is good okay. 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 Uh, I just want one thing, and for this question is to each one of you. Uh, uh, you know, any fond memory, like that one memory of your college. Uh, you know, it can be a happy mem- memory. It can be a memory which you know which really changed you a bit as a person, which you want to share. Uh, starting with Srishti. So, what would be that memory from college which you still remember? Which auntie asked you what went on the train? <laughs> changed me as a person. There is actually one memory. Um, so when i was in in my 12th standard in bombay to wo college hi hota hai mm-hmm. uh, there was this intra college festival called shop okay. at my college and obviously i i not obvious but i only have one other talent which is okay. i sing to so, maine socha chalo stage pe jaake solo singing karte hain but i wanted to do something different I wanted to do something that you know the college students will, you know, relate to something cool, and mm. I was just really stupid to think that way because I selected a certain song that I shouldn't have, and <laughs> can I name the song? I don't. Know. What was this song? Bro? Yeah, sure, sure. So I sang uh, "Bhagdi Ke Boss." Okay, you sang "Bhagdi." <laughs> and uh, i did not realize that it will have con- consequences i thought <laughs> everyone will cheer for me and obviously there were two three uh, very rowdy uh, boys who were enjoying mm. it but apart from that the teachers were scandalized and okay. um, luckily the main judge had not uh, reached when i was performing so everyone <laughs> <had to> perform <laughs> again so But when everyone had to perform again Yeah, yeah. So when everyone had to perform again, they came to me and said, "Listen, you don't perform because you're disqualified." Oh my god! Uh, I was so. I think that was my first, most, most embarrassing experience because I was anyway, you know, not really being able to fit in mm-hmm. at college because I was Malad se thi. I was going to church gate, jahan pe South Bombay ke bahut hai blood yeah. hai, aur I was not able to relate. Pari ki I had a culture shock. So. ये मेरा तरीका था टू फिट इन मे बी बट इट बैक फायर्ड एंड आफ्टर दैट आई वॉज लॉकड अप इन माई रूम फॉर मेनी 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 डेज आई डेंट गेट आउट बिकॉज आई वॉज सो एम्बेरिस पर फिर इवेंचुअली आई टोल्ड माई सेल्फ दैट आई हैव टू आई कैन बी सिटिंग इन माई रूम एंड सल्किंग सो आई वेंट बैक टू कॉलेज आई फेस्ड ऑल ऑफ द एम्बेरिसमेंट आई टुक इट head on and uh, i think that sort of changed me as a person because i became okay with making a fool of myself mm. and that is who i am right now at this point in my life i i'm not afraid to be myself and if and afraid of judgment or afraid of <laughs> people thinking of me a certain way i am the way i am 
So cool. you know, it, it was actually something great actually came out. And Abhinav, what would be that memory for you? Uh, one thing that changed my life. The one which you cherish, not necessarily change you as a person, but one which you cherish, or you know, we still remember that. Um. some of the friends that i made i think um like my best friend from college is his name is uh, ashwarya he's okay. from kota rajasthan and uh, he was my best friend from start to finish like we were both in the drama society and why um i loved him so much and i still love him is because uh, so initially the first month of college we were just you know meeting during practice and all that and one day i just asked him cuz some days he used to get late right so i was like mm-hmm. why are you getting late man every day So this boy used to take a train from Agra mm. to Delhi every day. Oh, okay. Because he did not have a, a, a house to stay in in Delhi, mm. right? So he used to he used to finish college, he used to do the rehearsals, he used to catch a train, go home. Uh, so he go to Agra, uh, spend the night, come back to Delhi, um, and. every and now he's just doing so wonderfully well for himself like he's he's i'm not even getting he's like a brother to me even though we're not in touch that much um he knows i love him so much because he, he was my best friend throughout and that's what i mean when i say that you form relationships which you don't expect right in college like i didn't expect my best friend to i mean i'm not saying how different we are but we come from very 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 different backgrounds we we don't the only way our lives would coincide is in college you know that's where um and uh, yeah i think that's the one thing i take with me the fact that uh, first of all i credit my mom and dad because i think they brought uh, me up well <laughs> but even my brother so that we don't have these uh, pre- you know certain prejudices that people have but in general uh, i think ashwarya and a few other friends that i made in college they sort of made me uh, realize and accept the fact that um it's very important to surround yourself with good energy and good people um it's also it's very easy to sort of uh, define a good person because uh, you, you just know one when you see one you know um so i think that's what college taught me the fact that um it could be anyone in the world um it doesn't have to be a friendship that lasts 20 years it could be for one year but it it has to be um you know Just two people very comfortable with each other who learn from each other, so that's what caused right. me. Right, right. So, Loni, what about you? A, a memory which changed you as a person, or a memory which uh, makes you happy? Anything? I think uh, my fondest memories of college are uh, so you get pocket money, right? and okay. uh, it's very little. <laughs> it's just about enough to be able to, you know, like buy little things. Also, that you will need in college, like pen, khareedna hai ya whatever. I used to get very little pocket money, and I think my fondest memories are saving that little money to go out together and watch a film, or bunk college and go for a road trip. Right. Uh, and you know, like living in the most uh, inexpensive, oh, I mean, minimal uh, price wale rooms, like and uh, you know, it was just, it was so simple and it was so uh, innocent and it was and we had a lot more fun. um i think that we were so much more free uh that time uh at least i was um and i think i missed that the most right right, right. okay and yeah uh, the same question i mean do you go see we people i mean when we are co- in college we of course wait that you know when we college end and we'll make our career you know in, in our respective fields but after certain of point of time there is a realization and you so badly wish to go to just those days so uh, you know i'm asking this question to all three of you has there been moments which you really really want to go back to those days because those days were really really simple so if there has been any moments with you all three I feel that every single day, <laughs> I wish that I went back to simpler and not so complicated days. Because you, you know, at this point, I'm very unsure of what I need to do tomorrow. I, I may make to-do lists that I may not check. You know, but in when you are in college, you know that कल उठना है, इतना time college में spend करना है, फिर घर पे आके थोड़ा सो सकते हैं, फिर ये करना है, वो करना है, पूरा तुम्हारा schedule set है. you have yeah. a routine and i yeah. miss having that routine i miss having something to do forcefully mm. 
you know mm-hmm. because it's so difficult to follow up with your own routine the ones that you make on your own and you have to make sure you do it yeah, and yeah. just the pressure of having to keep going every single day i think that mm-hmm. was not there that much but also i mean when we were in college we didn't realize that because we were so surrounded with so much chaos we thought that we were going through all the problems mm-hmm. only we were going through every problem in our life mm-hmm. or kisi ko nahi ho raha tha hame hi ho raha tha ye mere sath hi kyu hota hai i wish and i regret not enjoying those days because they were definitely yeah um simpler and happier you know just um, yeah okay i didn't have anything which you want to say um actually i didn't uh, realize just now you started talking i was like mm. you to mai bola hi nahi so i did i did my college from du like i mm. i went to hansraj i did 3 years there but then i went to drama school i went to new york i was uh, that's a different i know that's not college but that's also for me that was also like a kind of uh, you know because you're meeting people from all over the world and it was it's still kind of like a campus because it's even though it's like one small building but it's just uh, the energy is the same like you're still catching a train mm-hmm. um, and stuff like that so uh, that's actually something that i miss a lot obviously because of covid we've not been able to travel that much uh um, mm. i'm not saying we all have to travel to america i'm just saying that we all in like i think i'm i miss um just that uh, just that energy you know just that different wind that it's you that different the culture shock that one says i miss that culture shock you know i miss uh, uh meeting people from all over i miss uh, i miss my teachers um all these things um so yeah i i actually do Feel a lot of nostalgia about that. A lot, a lot of times, a lot of times. I don't feel like I want to go back because that's done. But I do feel like um, uh, if I go now, it like just you know, if just for the sake of it, like it wouldn't be so bad. You know, it'll be it'll be something new in its own way. So yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice. Um, Saloni, if you want to add something on this, I think I go back to college every time. I think my college life is a very. Uh, शाहरुख फ्यूंसे is in touch with only his uh, college friends who keep coming over mm-hmm. once in a month and mm-hmm. every time they meet they only talk about the same the same college me- those those incidents or just yeah. the same thing and they would they'll come to me hey you know about this i said yes i have heard it a hundred <laughs> times guys so i have seen this with a lot of college groups that there is no place for another person who has not been a part of that group because you are just going to keep talking about what happened and oh tu us ladki ke sath tha oh tu ne tu itna piya tha tu late gaya tha this that it just keeps going on right right and yeah okay okay so cool guys um we were just going to play a small game with you okay uh, so i'm just going to ask you some uh, it's it's not a question is i'm just going to uh, ask you some words and from ho- the whole cast i mean we don't have all of the uh, you people but jo pure cast mein jo bhi insaan aapko lagta hai us proverb se ekdam apt hai you have to say his or her name okay okay yep. okay so the first one is who was the according to you the one take artist it can be one name you people can have different name the one take artist saloni saloni okay saloni is pretty like pretty very very well prepared she posts for it yeah Cool. Saloni, you take your name. Yeah, <laughs> she's very good. Yeah, she's like yeah. she's she's just a very good actor. <laughs> so like she's just, yeah. It's sad also because now that these guys are saying my name, I'm double thinking it. But it's true. 
and it's hmm. only so that none of us like whenever we go niche to get into the yeah. cast to go on set we all go together so that we don't get hame dantna pade types right like we go right. at the same time so we keep no. coordinating with each other okay who used to always reach on the set time and iske wajah se you have to be very particular you know always on time srishti ya yeah. srishti saloni both were very very like no, not, no, 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 not srishti like, nobody i i feel nobody was ever on time are you she's not talking about we just talking about on set na like on set call time yeah on the set on set bro what are you saying on set i there was this one time where me thoda sa late ho gaya tha and i saw these guys in the car waiting for me and i got shit scared i was like what just happened and then they and then she record she kept on sleeping she didn't wake up so <laughs> yeah yeah no but i'm talking about this i just remember this one time when i was like really scared cuz she recorded me also that dekho ab inav late ho gaya aap dekh rahe ho ye abhi gaadi ke andar ghus raha hai uh, this video by the way do you have, do you remember this you don't remember this very uh, uh common consensus is that nobody was on time yeah we were all some, yeah. we were all late at different levels harsh okay. beniwal being the most चाहिए <laughs> 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 मैं yeah. बता रहा ये लोग कुछ भी बोले मत Moving on, two people who were inseparable, like always there with each other. These two, these two, okay. these two. Saloni and uh, uh, Sushmita and Sanya, and yes. Saloni and Sushmita. Yes. Always at each other, otherwise we were together all the time. Because I, according to Sushmita, I would force myself. Yeah, she forced herself on me. <laughs> okay. Too clingy, she is. So clingy that I started liking it. <laughs> Okay, last three. Um, who is the twenty-four by seven entertainer among the cast? Like you people have rarely seen him or her, you know, being quiet or being sad or being moody. He or she is always happy and the twenty-four by seven entertainer. Abhinav, Abhinav. Amisha, who's the guy? Yours. He just can't be quiet. Touch wood. <laughs> you take this title happily, Abhinav. Happily, happily. But no, See, he was not an entertainer. Would... He was just irritated. Not... Yeah, I think I was like... the entertainer. <laughs> Shristi is Shristi is definitely funnier than me. Nice about you. Let me say it because it's very rare. I'm saying you can not be upset or sad around Abhinav. It's just True. not. And we would I I would seem the we would be very weirded out if he was in a bad mood. Like it would just the energy would change. Yeah. Oh, energy it's happened now. Huh? Once yeah, it happened. happened. You know Abhinav, what happened? Yeah. And he's just quiet, and just him being yeah. quiet, and something has happened. Right, 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 right. Okay. Ah, uh, lastly, who is the one person who was like the cheer leader of your group? You know, if sometimes it happens, you know, people are not in great mood, but this one person makes sure that every one is in a great mood. So, who would be that person? Me only. Same. Yeah. Yeah. See. See. Yeah. 
my thing is simple my thing is simple if i'm on set and it's just mm. i i want them to know i love them very much even if they think i'm bullshitting or even <laughs> if they think it's too much i'm okay with them thinking it's too much mm. but it has to be love there has to be love on set but you has know with abhinav it's not just with us with everybody on set including the cameraman the light yeah. man, the director the writer everyone he just ma- made sure everybody is in a good mood he knew everybody's name he greeted everybody each and every person wo jaise hi pahunchta tha sabko hi bolta tha now yeah, very very annoying also because sometimes you just want to be quiet and you're not upset you just don't want to talk right but no, okay. what happened he but yeah he's sweet up mostly great end to this interview ha huh? mazda aayi ki meri mere to bada fun hai <laughs> okay so guys first of all thank you so much for you know answering all the questions beautifully for playing the small but fun segment um anything what would you want to say as you just said campus diaries is going to release on the 7th of jan kya log expect kar sakte hain kya aap soch ke dil aur dimag mein rakh ke ye show dekhiye agar kuch bhi aap kehna chahe to saloni de de ek last kuch badhiya sa bol de i think dhamal hone wala hai 7th of jan uh aap साल का बेस्ट कॉलेज शो देखने वाले यू गाइस हैव एनी गुड लाइन टू ऐड अबाउ दिस व्हिच इज डिफिकल्ट बट इफ यू वांट टू ट्राई गुड लाइन जस्ट प्लीज डू यू वांट टू ऐड समथिंग टू नो डू यू वांट टू ऐड या एज इन डू यू वांट टू ऐड समथिंग या यू वांट टू ऐड समथिंग टू इट आर यू आस्किंग मी नो आई थॉट यू आर आस्किंग यू या या कैंपस जान Watch it and you will not want to stop it. Hmm. Watch it. Abina, anything? Ah, uh, anything? Ne- you're gonna watch Kinnery? Uh, definitely, yeah. I know where it's releasing on MX Player. It's on Seven Jan, and if it is going to bring you back to that college days, then definitely. So I'm going to watch, and if you want to add anything. No, that's it. I just want you to tell every single human being that you know what you feel after watching the show, and trust me, then they'll watch. Definitely. So on this note, thank you so much, guys. And I really hope that this show, which you have made with so much love, passion, and hard work, will bring you back to the show. So thank you so much for that. What a joke! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. All the best. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bless you. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. Hi, I'm Vijendra. Hi, I'm Meera. And you're watching Glitz Vision USA. Please like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.